动当选人川普正在紧锣密鼓地筹建他的外交与国安团队。作为一个毫无外交经验而又崇尚大国强人的商人，川普会不会为了与大陆做利益交换而牺牲台湾？前美国在台协会理事主席布瑞哲表示，不能排除这种可能性。Without um, alarming anybody,、um, uh, you know, one cannot rule out、uh, an impulse to do a grand bargain and to、um, find、um, things that, for example, China might want in return for things that the United States might want. 美国在台协会台北办事处处长包道格认为，台湾需要注意的是，川普政府将检讨美国在海外的安全承诺。We should be reassessing how we posture ourselves. Should we be the garrison commander for the entire world? On the other hand, if you walk away from trouble, trouble comes after you. 传统基金会亚洲事务主任罗曼认为，川普办事虽然主观任性。但他可能不会管到对台政策这样的细节。It matters less, I think, where his instincts might be, uh, because uh, because he's not likely to get involved in a lot of the details. And, and to him, Taiwan might be a detail.、Uh, so if, as long as it's a detail, let's get the right people in there that that can、um, do the do the right things. Trump 的确不了解台湾，但是他可能任命的高官中却不乏有台人士。前众院议长金瑞气曾经访问过台湾，而美国前驻联合国大使波顿更是长期一贯的台湾坚定支持者。记者张国华、钟义庭，华盛顿报道。